Finally, now at the pearly gates, my Lord and Master will open the door, spread his arms, and say, Well done on your earthly sojourn. You have passed the test. Welcome home to my everlasting kingdom. Indeed, I was more than content to be an associate justice. That I was recently elevated to the position of Chief Justice is indeed a bonus. It is in fact both a blessing from the Lord and a heavy responsibility I bear for our people and our country. My dear members of the graduating class, you should consider yourselves blessed perhaps even more than you are willing to admit. Behind every Ateneo graduate is a long history of excellent performance in the bar examinations, as shown by a very high passing rate of almost 90% on the average. In addition, many Ateneo graduates have made it to the top 10. Thus, for you, passing or even tapping the bar is more like an obligation with a term. <laughs> Something that is definite to happen than one with a condition which connotes, as you all know, an uncertainty. Indeed, it will only be a matter of time before you become full-fledged lawyers. I therefore challenge you this early to concretize the Ateneo ideals by uplifting the legal profession. This you can do by conforming to what I call the three E's of a life worth living. The first E stands for excellence. Excellence indicates the highest degree of good qualities, of qualities that make for special worth or merit. It is synonymous with the virtue of perfection. Everyone here is all too familiar with the value of excellence. I am sure every one of you has been prepared well in advance to face up to that challenge. Needless to say, excellence is also required to pass the bar examinations. The effort, patience, and determination we will have to exert to pass the bar, however, cannot approximate, much less equal, the lifetime quest for excellence that follows after passing the test and taking your oath as lawyers. On this point, let me refer you to the favorite word of your father, St. Ignatius of Loyola, who adopted Magis as his daily goal. As you all know, do you know? <laughs> as you all know, Magis means more. St. Ignatius frequently urged others, especially his fellow Jesuits, like Father Bernas, to give more effort, more attention, more perseverance, more prayer, more forgiveness, and more service. Thus, he encouraged others to be the best that they could be, or to excel in whatever it was they did. Lawyers would do well to embrace magis as their motto in performing their corporate duty to the courts, to society, to their clients, and to the legal profession. A goal complementary to magis is to know everything about something and something about everything. In other words, be an expert in the law, but strive to have a general knowledge of all the other disciplines, whether economics, the sciences, mathematics, medicine, computers, philosophy, biotechnology, or the arts. 